This is a beautiful hormone, oxytocin, the love hormone. Okay? Now, when we deliver our babies, you can imagine how painful that is. But look at the bonding and the love that we receive when that baby is put on ourselves. There is no anger, there is no frustration, there is no tears, it is all love and that's oxytocin. So she's a 42 year old woman, very intellectual and introvert, but feels detached from men. Friends also find her to be cold, but not smiling. She herself finds her life to be fairly chilly, lacking warmth and pleasure. She feels uneased by others' emotions. She has difficulty achieving orgasms, even with experienced and serious partners. So that's a woman with oxytocin deficiency. Now, what does oxytocin do? On a psychosocial level, it stimulates sociability, friendliness, and deeper bonds. It improves the mood by making people smile more in presence of others. Reduces anxiety, especially in social encounters. At a physical level, it prevents ischemia, which is a loss of blood flow, lowers the blood pressure, speed up the wound healing, speeds up orgasms and increases attachment between lovers, stimulates sexual drive, sexual behavior, and attachment between partners, increases pleasure at orgasm, and may relax muscles and reduce pain. And this particular um, uh, feature of oxytocin helps patients with fibromyalgia who feels pain during sexual intimacy. Physical signs of oxytocin, again, you've got dry eyes, poor life, there is lifeless gaze, pale face, no emotion, limited emotional expression, and they hardly smile. Increases <laughs> vaginal lubrication, facilitates orgasm, awakens women and makes them remember their sexual experience, unlike the men who just turn around and sleep and has no recall whatsoever of what happened that night. It helps <laughs> delivery at birth, stimulates breastfeeding, and it protects the breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer. There is a lot of work being done on oxytocin at the moment. Okay. And patients complain of excess pain sensitivity, lower sex drive and romantic experiences, poor emotional manifestations, absence of rare orgasms, need 20 minutes or more to achieve an orgasm. So sex becomes pretty boring for them. Um, low orgasmic intensity, absence of multiple orgasms, lack of interest in others, greater need for solitude and fewer social contacts and they remain withdrawn. We can measure the oxytocin levels, but not necessary. And we can give you sublingual, which has got high value, but we can also give you nasal spray as well. It's quite a relaxing hormone. If you feel, if you're going for a meeting or interview and you feel quite tense, if you have a little bit, it just relax.